Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly, back for another art journal page today. Hope you guys had a great weekend. And today's Monday, of course, not the best loved week, uh, day of the week. However, we're alive and we're going to keep on going. So I'm going to do an art journal page, like I said, and I'm going to use this picture that I drew many moons ago, six years ago or so. Uh, and before we get started, if you like my channel, if you found me and you like my video, at the end, would you hit like and uh, the bell down below? It'll notify you when I upload, uh, as well as maybe subscribe. I would love that. And if you'd like to support my channel, there are links down below. Uh, my PayPal, where you can, you know, send me a little tip, or you can join a membership. All that stuff is down below, plus products that I use. So, let's get to getting. So one of the things I love, uh, as you guys know, is using getting two furs, maybe even three furs, when you get uh, more bang for your buck, that kind of thing. This is just a uh, envelope type of uh, Sizzix, you know, goes through the texture plate on a Sizzix Big Shot. Shown this before, but I'm going to show it real quick again. Uh, okay, we're going to open up. Now you can use paint, you can use whatever you want. I just want to kind of show you. Let's see if there's ink left in here. There. So look at this. Deliciousness. No, who cares about that? Nobody. And I'm just going to lay it down. Let's do it up here. Right? And I can like take my... Hold on to it, you know, this so it doesn't move unless you don't mind and you want it kind of smudged. It's up to you. I don't want to tell you a few things about this. All right, let's see what she did. Very light, not a big deal, but with mixed media, that's, I, I'm going to put her on top so I don't want it to be too much. Now, maybe I'll just give her a squirt. And then go back in one more time. Let's give a press. And see. I really gotta just get a newer pad. <laughs> I'm horrible. None of my ink pads work. Okay. I am hell on ink pads. All right, just lay you there for now. Before she dries out. Same thing. Push it, push it, push it real good. I can't even sing my song anymore. Okay. You can hear how hard my desk light's moving. But I want to get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. And like I said, push it. There you go. Okay, so now you can wipe this with a baby wipe or whatever. It doesn't bother me. So I want to show you now. Something else. I'll use this since it's still all this dries for a minute. I took a piece of cardstock. I don't know how well you can see that. I squirted this with my sprayer, my distress sprayer, a couple times on the front, turned it a couple times on the back. I then put this on there and you can run it through your Sizzix, but my lazy butt didn't feel like getting up, so I sat on it for a minute. Um, and it's still a little damp, and that's okay. I just want to show you real quick. You don't want to smush. I'm going to use this, and we're going to lightly skim over this. Look at that. Now I got a background for an ATC, right? So when you go, I'm telling you this for a reason, and this is the other side, so you can see, like, that's that side of it, that's that side, so you get, like, the innie and outie. Now, here's the fun thing. I have seen more clearance at Michael's and Joanne's Hobby Lobby of these. They're off-brand. They're not like Ranger or anything, which who cares, uh, of these. They're called texture folders, I believe. You can get these for like four bucks sometimes. Sometimes on clearance for 50 cents, depending on new stuff coming in, all the things. Um, keep an eye out. Because, I mean, you can do a lot of things with these other than, and you don't have to have a big shot. Do you know what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. Um, also, a fun thing to do. I know, I'm getting on it. I'm getting on it. A fun thing to do is do this, stamp it, and then 
You can take a colored pencil, paint this in, maybe for your kids, make a little coloring page, and they can go and uh, color this in. How much fun. So anyway, that's, that's what we're doing there, working with there. Okay, moving on. Okay, so now I'm going to take, I don't even know if this is the right side up of this, yeah. I'm going to take her, I scribbled on there, I'm going to lay her down, because she's going to be my main prize. I'm going to lay her down, and I am just going to trace some of the can't even remember where now my pencil is not sharp it's like dull and I'm telling you because I uh, have traced on here a couple of times but if it was sharp it would break it would go through the paper and I don't want that I just want to be able to um, do this so when it's flat and then her little dress which I can change all that which maybe I will, who knows, maybe I won't. I love just having the bare bones and then going in and making it my own. Now mind you, this is for my art journal page. I'm not doing it for a painting. This is just for me. I would probably do this a bit different in a on a painting. Who knows? Okay, now it gets a little crazier when you're going for the smaller parts because you guys know my hands and everything. I can't do shit with them anymore. But I think oh I gotta get this little I think I didn't do this I don't know if I'm gonna do this or not but we're just gonna and you can <clears throat> barely barely see it but I'm going back in and just gonna I'm gonna be full of blue I go to doctors with that only okay again I'm not gonna worry to be exact I want it to look okay but I just like you know and my biggest thing to tell you right now is like sometimes I get overwhelmed when I do this like I usually don't have a background already um and I get overwhelmed because it's hard to see sometimes all the stuff going on so what I learned over the years is whatever lines you see, start tracing. Um, and what's going to happen is it's all going to fall into place because they all lead to the ro same road. Do you know what I'm saying? And then you'll be surprised. You won't be overwhelmed anymore because it will work out exactly how you want it. It's just little lines everywhere, you know? And like for here for the dress, I mean, I might just kind of take it out a little bit, give her some hips and some, some movement. Now I'm going to turn it, but you see how it's coming through now? All right. And then just kind of do like that. I don't know where the hell her fingers are. I'm not good at that, but let's see. Hard to kind of see, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm doing it upside down just because I can't see. I'm blind. Sometimes I will draw this in um, paint too. All right. 
So now I can kind of go back and look at it this way. And I'm like, what the friggity frack? So now I'll go in. I'll just erase this. Her face a little. Her hair a little. Kind of make it my own. I think I might do her eyes open today. I haven't decided because I don't know what the frick I did there. But I'm going to take it. I know that her... Just trying to get that going. And like I said, don't beat yourself up too much. Because I'm just going to, I can add. I can add, I can take away, I can do whatever the brick I want. Okay. So I'm going to go into the eyes. Okay. Oh, I got my, ooh, what do I want to use? Maybe I will sharpen this a minute. Oh, I thought I saw somebody in my yard. I'm like, who the heck was that? It was a tree branch. I have my glasses on right now because I can't, I'm far side, I'm nearsighted. So I can see what I'm doing without my glasses, but I can't see far away. And there's a branch out there waving at me. And I'm like, who the heck? You know that like minute, like your belly goes down, like your stomach drops and you're like, well, what? Yeah, that was it. Okay, so I'm going to take some face um, skin tone folk art paint before I get going on here might have to redo all that that's okay I'm gonna grab a paintbrush which one do I want and just get in there a little bit and go over and then I'll go back and Now that blue um, ink that I used on here, the ink pad, is permanent. I don't care that any of it's coming through because my lead will come through as well. But it won't necessarily smudge, but you might be able to see some pattern. It depends on how many um, coats you put on. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to sit here and bore you, but I'm going to... Fast forward this part of me just painting her skin and everything, and then I'll come back when we're going to do the next part. Okay, so I stopped recording uh, and started painting. Now, the reason I did it is, who the heck wants to sit and watch me paint this? But I came back on just to show you a quick tip before I continue on what I'm doing. If you have... Let me grab a... If you have a section, uh, I was playing with some Stabilos. I can see some of this coming through. Um, and if you don't like it, now I'm changing her up a bit uh, and I have to redo her lips. But let's say like you're like, oh, I don't like this blue coming through. It's too much, right? What you can do is let it dry for like 15 minutes. Take some of your Mod Podge paper. If you don't have Mod Podge paper, you can use your Mod Podge um, mat, wh whatever you have. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're just going to go over this. You don't want it real thick, but you want it thick. Do you know what I mean? Like you want it to cover it. And I'm just going to go over this very quickly. I love uh, Mod Podge and I love Mod Podge tricks because I'm always a trickster when it comes to that stuff because you have to be sometimes. I can't go out and, and I don't feel like getting up. Now I want you to see I put some Stabilo down. You want to make your Stabilo permanent, you're, you can do something like this. Will it smudge a little bit? Yeah, but I don't care because the great thing is what's going to happen once this is dry. Now I'm going to go up in here. Because I want that to stay, but I want to go over that and lighten that face up just a little bit. Go down her neck, her hand. Now, do I want to make her dress, which I'm going to make her dress. Where did it go? Where did it go? I'll just use my pencil for now. Oh, here it is. I want to make her dress go out more. I'm going to give her, uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm obsessed with 
uh, Mary Magdalene, Magdalene and um, the Virgin Mary, all the things. So I collect them. But anyway, so I'm going to make kind of, I think I want to make this kind of lacy. So I'm going to keep this outside, but I don't want this dress to be too uh, lacy because then it's going to counteract with that. So I'm going to, I have the dress part here. I think I'm going to just have it because she's kind of here out to here. And what I'm going to do is take some of this and go over all this. And you can use this if you make a mistake too. Alrighty. And then I will be back and show you when it's dry what this magic does. Okay, so here we are. All dry. And then shake this up again because it's I let it dry for like 20 minutes okay and now let's pick a different brush just because I don't want to get uh, okay Go a little lighter so I'm going to add a little bit of gesso to it Any bit. I'm gonna go in and mix and mix and mix and mix. Like mixing your foundation with a little bit of a lighter base because it's winter and you haven't been out in the sun yet. Alright, so I'm gonna leave that dark on the outside. I'm gonna Go in. Let's see. It's going to be 85 here tomorrow. I have to go today. My husband went this morning for his shoulder for when he fell or slipped on the ice. He was carrying groceries, slipped on the ice, fell. So now he has to go through, um, what's it called, therapy for it. And then the doctor said that it's torn. She believes it's torn. He has to have an MRI, but in order to get insurance to cover, you have to go through therapy first to see if that helps. So <laughs> we have that. And then he had to go get a COVID test because Friday he's going for his back injections. And I'll draw all that in on the hands after. Um, and then today once I'm done with this, I'm going to go jump in the shower and I'm going to go with my daughter to her female appointment. It's like her 20th. She already goes to therapy for it. Internal, I don't know what it's called, pelvic therapy, floor therapy. And uh, But today she has to go and get from the gynecologist all these needles injected in her uterus and womb and like all inside of her she has like um we had to order them and have them here and now we have to take them like all these little needles so she's scared to death and she was like will you go in with me and I don't like seeing her in pain or anything like that but I'm like of course I will you know what am I gonna say I have to she's my baby <sighs> oh lord been a day already. More money, more money. This poor child, we've had to buy all kinds of different medicine and insurance won't cover and oh gosh. So 
so she had to buy all these injections it's not for pregnancy it's just so she can function in everyday life which would be nice anyway so I can sit here and blab on it's not even exciting so that's what we have going on here I'm not putting it on too thick because I don't care a little bit if it comes through. But I wanted to show you how much more opaque this becomes. Her face is perfect that way. Yeah. And I'm just going to smooth it out a little bit. Now, I kept some dark, some light. It doesn't matter. But what I'm going to do is... Now, you know, you might go, oh my goodness... On the lid, I'm going to scrape off that light because in my, in what I have found for myself is that like if I mix like that and I go, you know, it'll stay, it stays in the lid on these for some reason. So when I open it again, it'll still be there. But even if not, it just mixes because it's kind of a too orangey for me, but. I always mix it. Sometimes I'll, I'll empty the whole bottle out and then put white in it after I use a little bit and then mix it when I can't, when I don't have my favorite color here. Or I mix them myself. What do you, you know. Okay. Anyway, I'm done with that. So I'm going to rinse this brush and now I'm going to show you the dress. So because I don't want, I don't want, um, necessarily this coming through because I'm going to do this like a transparent white I think I don't know but I'm going to take some blue and this is just cobalt hue and I'm going to I don't care that it's right here I'm going to just go with that and it'll be okay wet the brush a little bit and I don't care that it's mixed in here. It'll be a little lighter and I don't care. I just want to see the color. And I want it transparent, but not really, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go in. Oh my gosh, my ear. I feel like I got a bug in there. There's no bug. It's just my hair, but okay. So. Yeah. Like we're glazing it almost. Okay, take it around. I have to get a smaller brush. And look at that. Look at the putting that paint on there. And then, you know, with the Mod Podge and everything over it to make it a little bit clearer. I mean, more uh, transp clear, transparent. I'm going to go in here, grab some of this. So I can get up here. Now what we did was we used the Mod Podge and we used it as a clear gesso, basically. Clear gesso is one of my favorite things. Um, I used to use it so much. Uh, and then when the Mod Podge fabric, I mean, uh, paper came out I started using that because I found I'm gonna say something that I don't like about Mod Podge now because I found for me that sometimes not all the time and it was probably me putting on too much too thick but I it would be like too like this gives it, I don't know, it gives it a little bit of a tooth. I don't know what it is. There's nothing in it. But like the Mod Podge matte sometimes gets too sticky for me. Like it doesn't completely dry flat. It gets a little bit of a sheen to it. And sometimes that'll get a little, just a little sticky. Not, you know, I'm not, I don't hate it. I use it all the time. And you definitely can use it in this place. But if you have... I have to see about doing a giveaway. Um, if you have it, use it. Because it is fantastic. 
not only just to, you know, do this, but to, you know, put your paper and all day on it. it I don't know. I just love it. All right. I'm going to go right here. And I don't care that those black lines are coming through because um, it's just like wrink like uh, wrinkles, not wrinkles. What are they called? Folds. There we go. So I hope some of these techniques on going over today help you out a lot. You know what I mean? Like where you can be using some of them and it helps improve your all right i'm gonna wipe that and i'm just gonna leave that dry we're gonna see where we're at i wanted some of that to come through uh, this underneath to come through we're gonna see how much because this will darken as it dries but you know it's dried a little bit <clears throat> Yeah, I like that. And I like the, you'll see, the inconsistency here. Like, do you, where's my glasses? Do I leave them in there? You see the inconsistency kind of? I like that because it's like the light's hitting it. It's kind of folding. It's doing its own thing. We ain't mad at it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get, do I want brown? I'm going to take some burnt sienna and I know you guys are going to notice I paint out of the caps all the time. I don't, I barely do one here. Matter of fact, I got to clean this off, but, um, yeah, I always, <laughs> I don't know why. And I'm going to go over this again. So just kind of adding some of this to get that there we go kind of firm up the lines i'm you know i'm not this is my art journal but if it comes out good i might do it on a canvas so who knows This is really just going to add some shadow. Sometimes I do it in black. Depends on my mood. And a lot of times I go into my art journal and I just like to do this kind of stuff so I can figure out what colors work. You know. My mind's all over the place today, so... Hope you guys don't mind my mind. And you see how it just kind of, you know, we didn't even do the background. I don't even know what I'm going to do on the background. I know I'm going to do her veil kind of thing. She's kind of all over the place. Is she, you know, because like she's not going to, Mary's not going to have this kind of dress, but Magdalene would. Mary Magdalene. Okay. This also helps if I made that too thick there, but I'll get over it. If you um, didn't paint all the way to the line, which sometimes that happens. Where you make a boo-boo and take color over where you're not supposed to. I'll just tap on that. Tap, tap, tap. And I should have probably paused while I did this, but I guess you guys are stuck. And I'm not worried, like, oh, do the fingers look like fingers? They're going to be fine. She's pointing here on her. You know, we're just kind of 
going with it. I'm not going for realism right now. Did she have one, two, three? One, two, three. She's needing another one here. I don't know. Who the heck knows? Is, is it, does she fold them? I, we don't know. Nor do we care, really. Do we? No, we don't. Now, when I go under here, you can see I have this dark here. Because, obviously, it's her neck. Um, and I have it dark over here. But I'll just, like, dry brush a little bit. Right here. Just because, you know, with your... Oh, I can't get over those fingers, Kelly. You know, I'm kind of just scooching around a little bit. I do this a lot. <laughs> uh, let's see. We'll go up here. Add that. Do I want to do... I'll probably go in and do her eyes and all. Maybe I'll do this. Maybe I'll just add. Her eyes like this. And then just tap in some white. And eyelids. Yeah. That's what I'll do. Okay. And like I can see here, I could see some of that blue. And I'm just going to, I didn't even put new paint on it. I'm just going on and smudging wherever you think. Oh, I forgot here. There's going to be some shadow here. Just smudging. You know, I'm not going, like I said, I'm not doing realism. I'm just doing my thing. Okay, so then that's going to go in there. And then I'm going to take my pencil again. And I'm going to go over her eyebrows. Her nose. eyes, her lips, very lightly, I'll have to fill these in a little bit more, but like that, then I will take, I use gesso a lot, I use it sometimes instead of white, I just pick up whatever the heck I have near me, honestly, because it's just easier for me. I'm going to go in and just do like a little, just to get a little bit of brightness in there. I wish I would have grabbed my colored pencils. Those are great to use at this point too. But I did that and then some black or a marker would work great. I'm just going to clean off my brush. Take some black, pure black. Okay, just do a little a dipple, do ya? And you can use the back of the. I should have just did that. And put it in the middle. Scraped off the other one. Come on, man. Don't do me like that. Okay. A little better. I need to shake this. I need to really sit here and shake all these up. From moving up from downstairs and not really doing my stuff. I haven't been using my paints. Okay. Okay, give it a blow because it helps dry it, of course. Get this out of here just so I can sit. 
And then, hmm, how do I want to do this? So I want the, I want her hair to kind of like come here. And then the rest will be the veil. So, what color hair? That's too yellow. These are some paints that I was that sent uh, Trucker Janie sent me, and I have. She sent me a big, like a I think it's like five or six cup for my acrylic pouring. So I'm gonna be doing that, setting up on my my pool and all that that I have to uh, do some pouring for you guys. which has nothing to do with this, but this is paint I had sitting here that she had given me, so I'm gonna use it. All right, you see how it's like, okay, that's like her hair, but you know what I mean? She's gonna have a veil over it. Now I could be really, and, and put some yellow polka dots, like make her really an odd girl. I don't know. I like doing crazy, kooky crap. I'm sure I'll put my arm in it, but it's all right. Maybe she's getting married in her little outfit. You see what I mean by like just adding your own like whatever. I have a couple, um, let me know if you'll be interested. I like to put some stuff up on my website so you guys can download. So if you guys are interested in some of the stuff that I've drawn, like pictures and stuff like that, that you maybe want to use in your art journal, you know, to play around with and stuff to get more comfortable uh, playing or whatever. And you don't, you know, I don't know. Let me know. Backgrounds. I love doing backgrounds. Okay, that's enough because... I will sit here all day giving her some polka dots. Okay, and I'm not worried too much about her hair, let's face it. I will put here. She kind of got low boobs, doesn't she? Okay, so I should have probably brought that up more. But I'll survive. If she's old like me, her boobs are at her knees. Let's face it, right? Nipples on your knee caps, that's me. Not ashamed, it is what it is. Okay, I'm gonna turn her around and let's do the veil business. So, I'm gonna get white. I wish I would have picked up my off-white. Wait, is this, maybe I can use this, yeah. This is called bleached titanium. I love it because it's like a off-white. And I can add a little white to it if I want to, um, just to lighten it just the littlest bit. Doesn't have to have too much. Now, I always get asked about gesso. And I use it a lot as white, and I use white as gesso. Look, you do what you want to do. I, people fight with me all the time about gesso. You can use your... Eh, eh. Like, for instance, this blue I put down is considered a type of gesso because it's sealing what's underneath and I'm gonna work on top. What gesso does is it does, it seals your uh, canvases and that, get a little tooth to it, um, you know, so I mean, it depends on what you're going for, but if you're starting out, I, I wouldn't worry about that stuff. You know, people get too hung up on having to have this, that, the other, and then you never start anything, you know? She needs thinned out a little bit. So I'm going to do a little section at a time. I added water. 
not worrying about the edges or anything right now, but what I am going to do is blot. Because I want that to come through, right? I just want it to kind of look like, and I can go over it again with the, um, you know, blue or whatever, but I want my paint thinned out like so. You could see, you could use this for so much. I've used this for face, you know, for skin tone as my base, all kinds of stuff. Play, that's the fun. Skin color and skin color. <gasps> Alexa, she was talking. My husband got me my own so I can play music in here. I had it downstairs. I don't know if I told you guys that for Christmas one year. Okay. Okay. Going light, going light, going light. And if you're afraid, like, oh, I'm going to be too dark, it's going to be too dark, then um just water it down water it down little bits at a time because you can always go over and i know my um What's it called? Stabilo's melting into it, and that's what I love. But if you don't like that, then don't do that. And if you don't have a Stabilo, use your what? Use a water soluble, like a watercolor uh, pencil or something. We're not done. I know. It's like, oh, it's beige. What is that? Well, I'm going to turn her around again. It is. It is beige. It's all right. I want that as my base. And the gray, like from the Stabilo and all, just adds, you know, some shadows or whatever you have. It's not a big deal because I'm going to dry brush white over it, which you're going to see. I'm going to take it all the way out. Like I said, who knows what the heck she's, this lady's doing. Maybe she wanted to go get some uh, Italian food and wanted to wear her babushka. Who knows? If anybody knows what a babushka is. And I'm going to take it to the outside. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm happy with that right now. What did I do with my freaking paper tail? Okay. That's how I feel lately. It's just everything's a freaking problem. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, that. And, you know, you don't need to waste this. I have a piece of paper here. I can just kind of if I want, if I don't want to put any more over here, but I'm going to go over this outside a little bit. And this will also make the uh, Stabilo a little bit more permanent, you know? I just love that shadow. Just love it. So we're just going to go like this, just for now. I always layer, and I can just wipe the rest of that up. Things I don't care about, that. Okay, so now I gotta get my orange stuff to clean out. Now I'm gonna take some white, I'm gonna do gesso, I think. I'm just gonna do the peepiest peep, peep, peep like that it's just a peep i'm going to take this brush because it's dry all the way dry and i'm going to take it in like this just to grab that on those sides 
and then kind of rub it off. And dry brush to add highlights. And if it's a little wet, it's okay still. It's not hurting anything. I'm just gonna blend. And I'm all for the blending. And if you find that you, you know, your brush is getting too, now you see I'm doing a little bit heavier here. Your brush is getting too white or dirty or whatever, you know, then just wipe it off. And you see how, I don't even know if you'll be able to see it. It just adds, especially if you're up close, it just adds a highlight. I'm going to need a little bit more, I think. I like it. I put way too much, but that's okay. You know my ass will be scooping that back up and putting it in there, don't worry. I am cheap. Alright. There we go. There we go. Also, I want to let you guys know. I mean, it's I should have mentioned it before. I'll mention it again in another video. All my paintings on my like all my acrylic fluid art and all my paintings are on my Etsy and they're all $14.99 no matter what size. So because I got new stuff I want to put up and so I figured I'll just put everything on there for $14.99, the paintings and if you're interested, you can look up knitting and things or I'll link it at the end of the video. There's like up here, there's always like a thing that says my Etsy. I think we're going to be good with that. I want a little bit more here. It just gives it a little bit of something. Okay. Go in there. Now I'm going to fix her eyes. And then I'm going to go over this with a little gold. Her eyes. I just want... I should have grabbed my black marker. Okay. Now you know what I'll do, maybe? Let's see, I wanna make sure these are not, not getting on me. Give her some gold eyeshadow. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. And I'm gonna very lightly just kinda Like this. Yeah, like loosely. Um, and I can also go in and do a few gold dots. Why the hell not? love it and then I want to put some because I still want that gray to come through the you know well it's gray now because of all the paint but you see how just some just some random I like that and once this is all dry I can get all up in there can paint her lips now and then I gotta decide about the background what color so I'll do that next just do a little bit of red on here Oh, 
gonna do the outside. Hmm. I don't wanna do blue. Orange? Oh, what if we do? I wonder if we do turquoise. Let's try it. I have to empty my water when I'm done. Make sure I remember because my cats enjoy drinking out of it. So who knows about that? Okay. If it's not me accidentally picking stuff up to drink, it's my cat. All right. And I put, you saw I put water on my brush because I want it thinned out. I want it like a watercolor consistency. I might do a bigger version of her, more detailed and more take more time to do her. Like I said, this is kind of like giving you guys ideas on what to do. Now you'll still be able to see, I can go here and dab that off. Um, so it doesn't run but remember you can always dab off to give some texture nobody's mad at the dab off okay not mad at how she came out really I need to put a dot in her eye so she has a little sparkle brings her a little bit more to life I mean come on we know we're not going for a prize here we're just playing around but I'm just going to use my pencil here and go into the point and just give her a boop, boop like that Put eyelashes on her, which I probably will when I'm done. Then just wipe that off. And one thing I'll probably do is go back in and kind of outline her a little bit more. Um, you know, add a little bit of grunge to her. You can see as it starts getting a little bit wet. Just kind of, yeah. Oh, I love it. I love the grunge. But anyway, that's going to be this. This is it. This is it. This is it. Gonna wet it a little bit just to kind of blood, you know, blur it out. I can go back in with the gold. It is, it's just a lot of like back and forth because until you get it to where you're like, yeah, boy, yeah, buddy. You see? Oh, I love it. I love her. I love her. I love her. I love her. Or you can make it on the outside like gold and you know what I'm saying? So. This is her for now. Just playing. Like I said, I see like on her nose, she has a little dot that I'm not thrilled with. And I'll just go back in with my brush. Once it's dry, you know, I don't like to play too much when it's still wet, but you know, just kind of clean things up a little bit. And I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. So I hope you guys enjoy just sitting listening to me ramble, ramble. Um, because I do that a lot and don't forget check out my Etsy for all my paintings on sale check out down below for all kinds of links for you know stuff on Amazon that I use or um, if you want to you know support me but really to support me just subscribe and hit that like button and maybe share it on your social media somewhere that would be fantastic as well let me know what you guys think about this let me know how you guys are doing and i will be back 
I don't know, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day with another video. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.